The Artisan Home Tour is in its second year in the Twin Cities. One of my favorite things. Ali Lucia live in Minneapolis showcasing three homes you can stop by if you decide to take the tour this weekend. Allie? Hey, Jamie, who wouldn't want to have breakfast in this kitchen? But before we show you this Minneapolis home, we want to take you inside two others in two very desirable western suburbs. Take we start off on a beautiful Lake Minnetonka property in Wyzetta. The six-bed, seven-bath house is nearly 9,000 square feet. Everything about this house is grand, says interior designer Sandy Mahoney, including the rotunda entrance with domed ceilings in this new construction just off 101. You see these series of arches and you see the radiuses and they're all deliberate design elements that you know, kind of carry throughout the house. The walkout basement is a child's dream. Check out this squash court, exercise room, and entertainment pad built for a bachelor or family who loves to entertain. The builder, Kurt Swanson, says the view and window placement were carefully considered. We, we staked it, I think, three times out here. We, we, we had it staked, and we were out here with the homeowner, and they looked at the views both to the lake and out to the pond that's out here. And you can see how the, the, the great room is angled now. We we, we, we moved it a few times. Now we step away from the lake to dry off in this treehouse style home tucked away in Edina. The co-founders of Robert Dana Design, who are also husband and wife, Emily and Jeremy, say the challenge was keeping that mid-century modern feel in such a steep lot. I think the thing that makes this unique is the fact that it's modern and it's very sleek and sophisticated, the clean lines that you get when you see this. Um, as you can tell, walking up to this house, we have a very steep lot. With the lush landscape surrounding the home, it features a porch on every level, including this double-sided indoor-outdoor fireplace overlooking the quiet wooded lot. The four-bed-and-bath, four-level home is 2,800 square feet and is built for welcoming guests. It's, it created a nice division of all the spaces. It's amazing for entertaining. We've kind of all, in our mind, pretended that we've entertained in here already. So you had a chance to see two homes, and now we're inside this Minneapolis home. It's near Lake of the Isles and Lake Calhoun, kind of tucked away in the neighborhood. And I'm joined by Rob Eldridge of Ridge Creek Custom Homes. And when I saw this house from the outside, it looks so small, but then when you walk in, it, it gets so much bigger. What was the challenge in designing this home? Well, the challenge in the house was that the lot is really deep, almost 200 feet deep, and it's narrower at the back than it is at the front. So we designed a house that would kind of just tuck in and come back. Um, the homeowner's son actually came to us with the original concept idea of the house, and so as you stand on the front seat and you look or street, you look at it, it's unassuming, and it kind of just fits in with the neighborhood, and it's designed to look like it was remodeled a few times. When you look at this house, what aspects of it are kind of something new when it comes to home? redesign? Um, well, I think this for us, this is the first time we've ever built a house that looks like it was remodeled. It was intentionally done that way, and the reception that we've had so far with the first week in the traffic has been great to hear the feedback. They love it. They love the way it fits in the neighborhood. We've actually had several neighbors, neighbors stop in and say that they like the way it turned out, too. And I look at the hardwood floors, and I see <clears throat> this is a trend that we're seeing in a lot of new homes right now. What other trends in this house are we seeing in new homes? Um, you know, we're really starting to see gray, and this is a gray in here too, but it's a, it's a very unique gray that can actually turn into a beige and a cream color when the sun hits it. So we're really starting to play with some fun colors in the new houses, and uh, yeah, the flooring and the materials are great. Well, Ron, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and we will be showing you a little bit more of this house in our 6 o'clock hour as well. Can't wait. You can check out the Artisan Home Tour this weekend, next weekend. And for more information, just go to WCCO.com slash links. Thanks, Allie. Some of those homes, Ooh. oh my goodness. The, I want to be on their patio. I think we could just sneak in there this weekend. Yeah, if you could just throw a cot for me, like somewhere in the corner of the kitchen, <laughs> that would be fine. A squatter. Yeah. One of the seven bathrooms you could find a That's little right. room. You'll to... hardly know I'm there. Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs>